Staking is the backbone of every proof-of-stake blockchain, including Axelar. Staking allows users to ensure the security of the network, the decentralization of the network, and participate in governance. Hi, my name is Stephen Fluin, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to set up the Kepler wallet so that you can hold your own AXL tokens and then use those tokens to stake on the network. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to just search for Kepler wallet. Um, you're going to see a few options here. You can jump directly to the store for whatever browser you're using. And I'm just going to jump to the Kepler.app website so that I know it's from coming from the official source. And you'll see here lots of different options for all the various browsers out there. I'm using Chrome right now, so I'll just go ahead and add the Chrome extension. Uh, and then as soon as you've added, I'm going to click the option to create a new wallet. Uh, because I want this to be a completely local wallet, I'm going to create a new recovery phrase. Now, normally you would not share this with anyone. This is your private key and whoever has access to these keywords, these phrases, uh, has access to all of your funds and control of all your funds. So make sure you're not sharing that. But just for this demo, we'll go ahead and do this together. So we're going to see we're going to get 12 different words here. I'm going to go ahead and copy that and store that in a safe place. Normally, what's going to happen now is it's going to verify that I actually have those saved. So it's going to ask me for a few of those words. So word number two was until and word number five, I believe was above. So I'm going to give this wallet a name. It doesn't really matter. I'll just call it Axelar. Uh, and then I'm going to create an eight character password. Once we've got that all entered, the wallet is now set up. I now have private keys that I'm going to be able to use to interact with the network. I'm going to do a couple things here. So I'm going to choose the Axelor network uh, and I'm going to hit save. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Kepler wallet. I'll pin this so that I have it available on every screen. And I'm going to also open this manage portfolio in Kepler dashboard. So this is just a local view into your wallet. We've already got the Axelor network. So now you'll note that we don't have any AXL right now. Uh, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to want to go ahead and copy this wallet address uh, and use that on a centralized or decentralized exchange in order to get AXL token. I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will come right back. All right, we use that address to receive one AXL. Uh, now what I can do is I'm going to use that one AXL to stake on the network. Uh, in this Kepler dashboard, you can see all of the validators that are powering the Axelor network. Uh, you're going to see each of them has a amount of voting power and a commission based on how much uh, they are taking from the staking rewards. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just randomly choose a validator that is not in the top 10 uh, because I want to aid to the decentralization of the network. So I will just go ahead and pick one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to stake. Now, make sure you don't stake 100% of the AXL you have because you'll need a little bit of AXL left over in order to perform transactions like claiming rewards, uh, unstaking, etc. So I'll just stake about half of the AXL we have in this demo. I'm going to go ahead and approve this on-chain transaction. And now I have uh, staked 0.5 AXL and I will be participating in the security and governance of the network now. Uh, and that's basically it. I've now staked that AXL. Unstaking takes about seven days in order to ensure the security of the network. Uh, but if you need to get any of those funds back, you can at any point just go ahead and go in here and click unstake. Uh, but that takes around seven days for the amounts to be liquid again. And that is going to be it for this demo. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.